So, well, as you can see, we're about to go for a lap in the BMW. This is my new daily. Um, I sold the other one. Yeah, we're at the ring now, so yeah, let's do a lap together. Not gonna overdrive it. The car is full with stuff. The engine is uh, kind of kind of warmed up, so just gonna show you around and uh, enjoy the track. Just in drive, nothing too hard. Let's wave it to the people. And watch all the other traffic, of course, because, well, it's not a slow car, it's a heavy car, and it's not a race car, so there are fast cars coming up. It's gonna be mostly on the blinker to the right side and <laughs> let, the, let all the cars pass. Like. my first track experience with this car well yeah it's not a race car so <laughs> another m3 coming up so let's oh that sound jesus pretty good let's move over to the right some force coming up oh it's feeling horrible to drive this slow on this track like Normally we do like laps around 8 minutes and I was like 16, whatever. But the fun part, you can take the curves like crazy. Without feeling a bit, I don't know. But anyways, other cars coming up, so move over before we get killed. Another car coming up. It's a busy day now. Sun is coming up again. So there's another Porsche coming up. Let's move over to the right on Ronnie's lap. GD3 RS. Tell you a little bit about the, the progress with the EF so far. Uh, yeah, well, my plans were to. Well, that's fast. The plan was to have it ready for now. But yeah, things, things are things goes how it goes and yeah in the end it's uh yeah not ready it's getting there this week some parts have been done but yeah a lot of people are busy and well i'm not in a rush at all like of course i want to drive like every day every time but well don't be impatient just yeah just wait a little longer and my car will be ready my holiday is coming up really busy with making videos and stuff like that i also have a normal job so uh, yeah it's getting there but not now mm -hmm. We'll get there soon. English guy. Pretty cool. Just checking my mirrors for a second was another fast guy is coming up. switch over to drive again so I don't even have time to like shift and look in my mirrors <laughs> well anyways as you can see probably on my screen on my phone I'm using the draggy system right now um, draggy contacted me with the question if I wanted to test it out and I said yeah of course why not I'll make a little review about it um, well since my car isn't ready yet I didn't have time at all to test it out um, so that's why I thought let's Let's take, let's take the BMW with me and just go on the track and then make a little review about it and yeah, see the pros and the cons with it and we'll see. For now, yeah, I'm always using the race chrono compared, uh, sorry, um, connected with uh, before the race box. So this is like a new thing, new system. Let's set it out with watch out for these cars. As this is also like the exit. Sometimes I have to just enjoy myself with, with all those cars coming by. Like, wow. It's like playing video games. Anyways, where was I? I was about talking about the Draggy Motorsport. For now, what I can see, it's, it's, it's kind of similar. Well, it's a different layout, but it looks quite okay. 
the system itself is really small. I just got it in my in the glove box. A uh, little compact, easy to use. So uh, yeah, let me so far. But later on, I will test it out with the computer. Uh, try to connect my footage, and we'll see. But for now, we're just gonna climb the hill and then. Feels like we're like driving 60 or whatever. So coming back to the part of the EF, um, I did a little, a little bit more things this year. Um, like I told in my other videos, respray, the rust, it was like the main issue we had. Well, the respray not, but the rust was getting a big issue. So we decided just to get the car repainted. Somebody buy this BMW. I, I buy a Porsche. We can trade it, and I will give you a little bit more, like 500. No, just kidding. So you have respray um, and the rust repair. So that's it's coming to an end. The engine went back to Kai. Just a little checkup. Just yeah, seeing if everything was okay, and then we changed the cams. Nothing special. A little bit more aggressive, but what happened here? Oh wait, that's it. Well, anyways, I was a little bit distracted. So we adjusted the cams, new ones, body clubs, um, the false springs. We upgraded because, as you know from all my videos, I was roughing the thing like I stole it. So we wanted a little bit more durability. Side of that, we changed something to the sway bar, uh, more aggressive, so for more rotation. Just enjoying the feel of the Porsche right now. So, where was I again? I'm just getting so distracted by all the things. Um, cams, false springs, durability, um, suspension, a little bit changing in the back, make it more stiff to get more rotation. Another Porsche coming by. Uh, every side of that, we're gonna just check everything again because last year when I ended, I had a little bit of problems with the, with the brakes, a lot of vibration. But in the end, we couldn't find out what's, yeah, what was the problem. There were a few things that might cause the collision because one of the T, uh, one, yeah, the T bracket of the engine is kind of loose. Probably forgot to re, uh, yeah, just to check it up, or I don't know, doesn't matter. Um, there were some. Yeah, a little bit of movement on the sway bar. What could cause the vibration into the brakes. Um, so we're gonna check up everything this year, make sure everything is perfect, no vibrations at all. Don't wanna get up with bad brakes again because I changed my brakes a lot last year. So we're gonna check that up and then the tires go back on and then we're gonna swap to the CRS tires. So we're gonna, coming from AR1s and we're going to the CRS. Another train coming up. Leave me alone. Well, back to the tires. AR1s are done and we're going to the CRS. Well, we heard a lot of good things about the tires. I didn't drive with it yet, but the things, what I've heard is it's coming up, going back to the, to the flight zone. Second, this is more complicated than they're working in the kitchen. Like there's so many things to <laughs> to manage now. Well, anyways, back to the tires again. We're gonna swap to the CRS, so we're going a little bit wider. Let this port move by. Come on, boy. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna have a massive amount of grip more than before. Uh, maybe some little changements in the in the alignment. But we'll see afterwards. So we have a lot of testing to do. Also, I forgot to mention, we changed the gearbox. Because, yeah, as you know, in my stories and all my videos, it was hanging like five to eight seconds in the rev limiter, which was quite fun to see for you, for me as well. But in the end, the engine doesn't like it. Maybe for a second or whatever, but not, not this long. So we changed that to a 4.7 instead of a 4.9. And yeah, we'll see what that brings. Probably more top speed. And 
hope like 15 or whatever. So we have a little bit more top speed and a little less time hanging in the in the ref lifter. But in the, in the other hand, I got some more horsepower and other tires which probably were like a little bit smaller on the sides. So we'll see what it brings with the top speed. And uh, yeah, looking forward to get back on track again. So for now, it's a little bit waiting. First, my holidays. Um, things were all going slowly. Just patient and yeah, just stay tuned. I appreciate a lot all the comments lately, all the all the views. Well, it motivates me to make more videos and like upgrade my videos and invest in a lot of things. Well, nice time by the way. 13.60. Well, it's not a double time like I said. Like it's not a 16.0. But anyways. Thanks for watching all the videos and all the comments lately. Appreciate all the good words. And uh, yeah, looking forward to make more content. I might go in a Porsche in a few minutes to make some nice videos. And, uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.